Hi everyone, it's Jess with Kinder Stampo, and today I'm going to show you how to work on a really, really fun technique. Um, I know a lot of us like to make our projects really personalized, and make flowers is a really, really fun thing to do as an embellishment. So today we're going to be working on some yo-yo flowers, and these are really, really simple to do. I'm going to focus more on the technique, and then um, just show you a simple way of um, embellishing it. And then you guys have creative freedom on how you like to decorate your yo-yo flowers. What's really fun about them is that once you make them, it's a really fun base that you can color or decorate with whatever you wish. So let's get started. The things you're going to need for this project are any kind of fabric. I like using just regular muslin because I like having a clean canvas that I can either stamp on or paint on or draw on. So having... Um, the plain muslin canvas is really great for me because I can make a whole bunch of them and then just embellish them or personalize them depending on the colors of my project. So just basic muslin works really well. The next thing you're going to need is a circle. Um, cut out basically just a template and in this case I'm using a three, three inch circle that I cut with one of my circle punches. Um, but any size works perfectly, either bigger or smaller. You'll need um, some thread, and you can either use white thread or a coordinating color depending on what fabric you're using. My personal preference is to use a transparent thread because um, it works really, really well, leaves really um, invisible seams. So this one um, is what I usually use for these types of projects. The next thing you're going to need is a craft mat, and I only use this to embellish my my project later on. So here is my craft mat. I will also be using some Lindy Stamp Gang Moon Shadow Mist in Mystic Malachite. I love this because it leaves a very vintage look on your projects and it has a dual tone. You guys will see how this has some browns and greens and blues and makes it look like a very beautiful mermaid finish. And then you're just going to need some random buttons. So I have this jar here that has a bunch of vintage buttons that I use all the time. So any buttons will work really well for this. And of course you're going to need a really good pair of scissors. So I'm going to be using my Westcott scissors for this. Um, you can also use uh, a die to cut your fabric. I like freehand, freehand cutting my fabric, so I'm just going to use the circle punch. So let's get started. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my fabric like this. And I'm going to lay this circle on here and just grab it. This particular fabric is doubled, so I can cut two at a time. It saves a little bit of time. Um, and then I can make more than one at a time. So I think that works really great. Set this over to the side. And then again, there's no real perfect way to do this. Um, just make sure you, you cut it as close to the template as possible because you do want it to be as perfectly round as possible. It just makes it easier for you to form the lollipop once you get started sewing. So there we go. We're just cutting around a circle. Really super, super simple. Once you start making these, you're going to love them because you'll notice that because it is basically a blank um, canvas, um, you can embellish them as you wish. So here we go. We'll put this template over the side, and now we just have these two pieces of um, canvas. And I'll move one to the side because for this particular project, you will only need one, one base. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to thread your needle. And I'm going to go ahead and use um, white thread because it's easier for you guys to see it on camera. And what I do is I just tie a knot on the end. Super simple. This is just basic sewing, um, basic, really basic sewing skills you need to make one of these. And of course, my nails are a little too long, so I always have a challenge making the knot. But here we go. And then I just use my scissors to make a clean cut, and I cut it as close to the knot as possible. So you'll have something that looks like that. Move these little extras to the side. Then you're going to grab your piece of muslin and you're going to start basically doing a gathering stitch. So you're just going to um, stick the needle in through the front and then bring it back through the back. So you're going to 
try to do as close a stitch to the edge of the circle as possible. And it's just a simple, simple gathering stitch that you're using on here as a technique. And again, you're just going to keep it as close to the edge as possible, going from the front to the back and from the back to the front. And what you'll notice is that you're kind of forming a ruffle on the material, and that's what's going to help um, the lollipop flower form. So just keep going all the way around. It goes by pretty quickly once you get started. And depending, once you start making them, you'll realize that um, a certain thread works better for you, a different certain size of needle allows you to work a little bit faster. So um, feel free to try different size needles, different size, um, different types of threads, and of course different types of fabrics as well. Because you can make these in just about every possible variety that you can think of. So here we go. So you see how I have that very um, roughly effect right there. Now I'm just going to thread it through now. And you see it's kind of forming a nice little pocket. So let's just pull it all the way through. And then just continue the gathering stitch all the way to the very end. Super, super easy. I love making these flowers. Um, I know that some companies out there actually sell them, which is awesome for embellishing when you don't have the time to make them, but they are also pretty expensive when you um, when you use them quite frequently, so having the ability to make them yourself is really great because it allows you to per not only personalize your project, but also save some money on embellishments, which I, I think is really, really great. So let's pull it through again, and you guys can see now that it's already forming that perfect little ruffled pocket in here. So we just have a few more stitches to go and we'll be finished so really easy and as you guys can see um, I didn't I didn't stop to make to edit the video I'm kind of just doing it directly in the video so it's not taking very long to do and here we go we're all the way at the very end so now I'm just gonna pull Pull the thread all the way through and secure it really tightly in the center. So you see, now we have a perfectly gathered flower that is really tight in the center because I've pulled it through. And then all you're going to do is you're going to secure this. So you're going to put your needle through again and then bring it in through the loop to close it off. And this will um, secure it and you won't have any issues with it coming apart. So no adhesives needed for this part. So there we go. Really simple um, way of closing it off. And then you'll just have your scissor and cut this off. So there we go. So now that your little yo-yo flower is complete, we're going to go ahead and embellish it. And um, at this point I just want to add a little bit of glimmer and a little bit of vintage and just some um, bling to it. So really quickly you're just going to break out your uh, craft mat and you're going to place your yo-yo flower to the side. For this particular one I'm going to be using Lindy's Stamp Gang Moon Shadows in Mystic Malachite. You're going to swirl it and just spray on your flower. So we're just going to spray like this adding some really cool shimmer to it. And what's really cool about these um, Lindy Stamp Guns Moon Shadow Mist is that they have, it's, um, it has a brownish tone to it and it also has some beautiful dual toned colors to it. So this one has some, some greens and some blues. And then you see how there's some extra um, color on the mat? I'm just going to go ahead and wipe that up with this. So you see now that I'm swirling, you guys can see the full effect of the colors. There's browns and greens and some blues, so it looks like some mermaid colors. So I'm just wiping this up like this, trying to get as much color as I can on here. This material is muslin, so it'll take a little bit to soak it up, but once it does, it'll look really, really awesome. So there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this up really quick with my wipe. 
and you never never waste um, what's on here. I'm basically cleaning it up with a wipe, but you can always reuse it um, and wipe it with a piece of paper, and you can use that for another project. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my heat tool and dry this up. You want to make sure that it's really, really dry before you use it or put it on any of your projects. I'm just drying, drying, drying. Okay, so that's pretty dry now. And you'll see now that there's this really pretty green and blue shimmers on here and I love the fact that there's these little pockets of white here it just makes it look a little more vintage the next thing I did was um, I grabbed a clear button and I'm just gonna get some of my Helmar 450 quick dry adhesive and remember you can embellish these however you like I just happen to um, want to use my Lindy stamp gang on this and what I really like is that when you use the muslin since it is a very neutral color um, you can color it up however you like. So there's so many different options for embellishing this. So there we go. So right, just like that, it looks really, really simple and cute. But I also want to add a little bit of bling on it. So let me just grab um, a little turquoise rhinestone and put that in the center. So And you can put some glue on these, but these are already pre-adhered, so... I'm not going to do that. And there we go. So there you go. A really cute and simple yo-yo flower that you can embellish any way you like. And um, stay tuned because I'll be making a lot more projects with these. And I'll be adding it to my birthday mini album. Just wanted to really focus on showing you the technique and how to make um, the base. And now you guys know how you can embellish it as much as you wish. And just to give you kind of a sneak peek of something I'm working on. I'm going to work on making something and adding some flowers and some ribbons and some laces so here's just a few that I made um, previously they're not embellished but um, just to give an idea and a sneak peek of something I'll be working on soon so I hope you enjoyed um, how how does it make a yo-yo flower I look forward to talking to you guys again soon bye